أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تستوي الحسنة ولا السيئة يدفع بالتي هي أحسن فإذا الذي بينك وبينه عداوة كأنه ولي حميم وما يلقى إلا الذين صبروا وما يلقى إلا ذو حظ عظيم وإما ينزغنك من الشيطان نزغ فاستعذ بالله إنه هو السميع العليم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعد All praises are due to Allah May the peace and blessings be upon his prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Brothers and sisters in Islam Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Alhamdulillah Allah has brought us back again in this important gathering here on this platform we pray may allah the almighty continue to protect us all uh, today inshallah as mentioned earlier that because we are unable to congregate in our masajids during this blessed time inshallah we will take this opportunity to share with us a few points so that we would all be able to learn something and implement it in our lives. We pray may God continue to protect us all. Today, April 11th, 2020, Insha'Allah, you've heard me reciting from Surat Fusilat, Surah 41, verse 34 to 37. And as always, we begin with the attitude of gratitude, thanking the Almighty for His blessings that are innumerable. In Surah An-Nahl, verse Surah 16, verse 18, Allah said, وَإِن تَعُدُّ نِئِمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ If we should all together, individually and collectively, try to enumerate and count the blessings of Allah, we cannot count them and therefore it is our duty to always appreciate brothers and sisters in islam as part of his blessings during difficult time during this a period of trial and tribulations our first responders those in the front line during this difficult time to you all we say Thank you very much. May the Almighty God continue to bless you all. Surely we appreciate it. Well, yesterday here in my house, there was a lot of misunderstanding that happened and most families especially these difficult days that we all are at home will face this reality 
sometimes misunderstanding, sometimes real challenges leading to serious crisis. If we are not careful, by the time we all are back to the state of normalcy, in some families there'll be no more such a thing as the state of normalcy. So I would like to share with you perhaps you and I would learn. Perhaps you and I would appreciate our diversity because that's very, very important. A part of the problems is that we refuse to understand who we are. A part of the problem is that we actually will not accept who the other is. And part of the solution is to know the self. Until you understand the self, you will not understand the creator. We just mentioned that uh, two days ago. Malam ya'arifu nafsa, kayfa ya'arifu khaliqa, Ibn Qayyim al jawziya mentioned. He who is ignorant of the self, how would he be able to understand his creator? So one of the basic solutions and perhaps the most important solution to our problems is understanding me as a person. Now remember what we've said? Man is indeed weak, and man indeed is needy. We all stand in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we all, without exception, are weak. وَخُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفًا Man, I mean man generically, is created weak. Man and woman is weak. We all have our shortcomings. So let's understand this reality. I have my shortcomings. My wife has her shortcomings. My kids have their shortcomings. And therefore, when I understand me, it is a foundation to understanding of how to resolve or perhaps contribute to the solution and not the problem. Our problem, our major problem, not accepting who we are. And brothers and sisters in Islam, we ought to be able to understand the self because we know the self. So understand you that you are imperfect. Understand you, that you stand in need. Understand you, that you are weak. كُلُّ بَنِي آدَمَ خَطَّاءٌ وَخَيْرُ الْخَطَّائِينَ التَّوَّابُونَ Every son of, a son of Adam, خَطَّاءٌ stand of making mistakes. He surely is incomplete or imperfect would make mistakes. وَخَيْرُ الْخَطَّائِينَ التَّوَّابُونَ The Prophet ﷺ said, but the best amongst those who make mistakes, meaning all of us, التَّوَّابُونَ those that would sincerely repent. So understand this reality. Who am I? Will contribute to how can I help? But if I refuse to understand the self, there is no way I can understand the other. There is no way I can contribute to the solution. So ours is a community. Ours is an ummah. So our ummah, in order to be able to help 
individually or collectively is when we appreciate who we are as people, as part of mankind, as part of those that Allah said we are weak. Let's first understand the self. So as I criticize the other, let me begin to understand the self. That is necessary. That indeed is necessary. So let me go straight to the point. Yesterday, after we finished eating, uh, my wife, Allah continued to bless her, said, you know what you did two days ago hurt me and I actually did not like it. I asked, what did I do? She said, before your recording, you asked your son, a question. You asked Rayan about an etymological question. And Rayan turned to me and asked, after responding, saying, Yeah, I think it is this. And then Rayan turned to me and asked me, Mom, what do you think? And then you interjected. My wife said, you responded and said, no, I'm not asking you, Rayan, to ask your mother. Just give me the answer. Don't ask your mom. I'm asking you, why are you asking your mother? She said, that hurts. She didn't like it, but she said nothing, but she is mentioning it to me. And uh, believe me, I'm saying this yesterday. And I said, wife, you are assuming things. I'm asking our son, Rayan, and Rayan turned toward you, asking you, I said, you are sitting here. This is our son. What is wrong with me asking our son? And my wife said, what is wrong with Rayan asking me? And I said, that's nothing wrong. But you were here. And I asked Rayan. So, okay, if Rayan asked me, does it mean I'm dumb? I, I have no clue. I don't understand. I said, oh my God. Where is this conversation leading us? Now you are mentioning about dumb. Now you are mentioning about I don't know anything. Now all these are your assumption you you are assuming things and i don't think it's the right thing to do no 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 but i just want you to know i did not like it because i felt i was disrespected in front of my son you know i said okay let's call our son then and let him be our judge. <laughs> let him judge. She said, okay. Now our son was called. And I said to him, Rayan, I'm being accused of something that I did not do. And I would like you to pay attention Hear me first, and then hear your mother, and then judge what you think, because you are no more a kid. Rayan said, okay, Dad, start with you. 
I said, Rayan, two days ago, I called you. I asked you a question, and you turned to your mother. And then your mother actually, you know, before she answered, I said, no, Rayan, I'm not asking you. I'm, I'm not asking your mother. I'm asking you. Just give me the answer. Now, after all this, your mom right now is accusing me of disrespecting her. Is that the way you feel? Or is that the way you felt two days ago? Rayan said, okay, mom, it's your turn. Well, Rayan, you turned toward me asking me this question. And when your father stopped you saying that, no, I don't need your mother. I need your input. I felt bad. Because I felt, why? I don't know. I don't have the answer. And listen to what our son said. Mom, you are assuming things. I did not feel that which you feeling now. Because the way dad said it was not. Dad is saying, well, perhaps I am an aspect in this field. So, because dad wanted me to go and check and come and share with him. Mom, you are assuming things, our son said. By the way, <laughs> as this conversation was on, Sumaya, the oldest sister of Rayan, was in the kitchen paying attention. So mom saw her, <laughs> and therefore mom needs a lawyer. <laughs> so she called Sumaya. Well, Sumaya, come, come here, come, come and you know listen. Well, this is Sumaya's conclusion that perhaps the way you said it. <laughs> is what caused the pain of mom. Perhaps the way you said it, other than that, what you said was right. That I'm asking Rayan, let Rayan give me an answer. But maybe that the way you said it, and you know sometimes when you are very loud, you know, people who actually do not know you may assume that you are angry. <laughs> what did I say? I said, okay. Okay. Now I hear you. So what is the solution? Now, right now, the solution is to apologize. And I turned toward my wife, dear mother, and said, well, I apologize for that. If you felt that I disrespected you, no. That's not my intent. So I apologize. And usually when there is misunderstanding of such, and she will say, well, therefore you need to come and, uh, you know, come and hold my, the way we do it in our sort of custom or tradition. Well, brothers and sisters in Islam, I apologized. That was yesterday or yesterday night. I apologize not only, you know, I did it not between only both of us, but in front of our kids. That, well, I am sorry if you felt that I disrespected you. And I know some of us at home, especially during this lockdown, especially during this quarantine, especially during this stay home, that our leaders have asked us to do. 
we see each other every day more than any other time between me and my wife my wife and me likewise our children we will stop step on others show you know uh, toes we will say things that perhaps the other may feel that i just don't like it but what can we do individually and collectively how can we help bring peace at home brothers and sisters in islam because if there is no peace at home there is no way you can give peace outside home wallahi You have to start with yourself. Start with you, the self. And then your family. So if you are unable to contribute to the family, believe me or not, you are unable to contribute to the outside, the family. Start with home our leader our prophet our teacher muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa anzir ashiratak al aqrabin allah ordered him start with your immediate family so it may be a waste of time brothers and sisters in islam when you contribute to outside what us home is suffering it may be a waste of time that is why Allah had said, Ya ayu al-ladhina amanu, lima taquluna ma la taf'aloon, kabura maqtan, and Allah an taqulu ma la taf'aloon. Oh, you who believe, why do you say that which you do not do? It is a grave your sin in the sight of Allah to say that which you do not do. Ours is not only saying, but also most importantly, putting it into practice. What you say, should be followed with action and not only talk to talk but action walk to walk so let's understand this reality brothers and sisters in islam atamuruna nasa bil birri wa tansawna anfusakum wa antum tatuluna al kitab afala ta'qilun why do you ask people to do that which is right albir is anything that is great or right now you asking people to do right and you refuse to do right there is contradiction here and a whole lot of us as parents have destroyed directly or indirectly our children because we actually ask them to do things that which we do not do or actually asking them not to do whereas we are doing it it doesn't work as a father you are smoking as a mother you are indulging in questionable practices and asking your child not to do it doesn't work start with the self start with you as a teacher so as we stay home during these difficult days what i want you and i to do is to reflect to ponder so that by the time we are ready to go out we are not being destroyed we are not being destroyed because i'm afraid i am afraid that a whole lot of us by the time it is time to go out we have caused a whole lot of harm to the family let's learn to appreciate one another let's learn to respect one another but 
the issue about masculinity and femininity should not, we should not allow that to cause harm to us. Masculinity, I am the man and therefore I deserve to have the lion's share. We, we are not in a jungle to be talking about a lion's share. We have to appreciate. There may be times when the lion would be a sheep. You know, making sure your children and your family eat first. Now, remember what I told you some time ago. My wife was away. And when she came back, actually, she went to Hajj. When she came back, she asked me, you know, how the children behaved. And I said, Alhamdulillah, great. But when she asked her children how their dad behaved, <laughs> They have opposite view about me. And that was my children said to their mother that whenever dad comes home, he always will ask, Where is my food? Will not care to ask about, Have you eaten? Oh my God. Oh my God, I sat down to think a few minutes about what my children have said about me. And that, Allah, he disciplined me. And I call all of them and apologized. I said, Insha'Allah, this will never happen again. When I come home, I'm going to ask, have you eaten? Then ask for my food. Have you eaten, kids? Then talk about mine. That's how we learn. That's how we learn to be leaders. That's how we learn to teach our kids. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we are here today. Tomorrow, we are not going to be here. Our grandparents, our parents, most of them are no more here. Likewise, history repeats itself. A time will come when you and I are no more here. What we teach our children, or let me rephrase this statement, what our children see us doing is exactly what they will do. Remember what we said, nature and nurture? Nature, because it is something directly learned from our parents, and nurture is something that we've learned in our community or schools that we have actually attended. Do right. Because when you, your children are influenced by your negativities, remember what they do, you are also being held accountable. Although you are not the person directly doing it. So the ayah that we actually recited in Surah Fusilat, وَلَا تَسْتَوِ الْحَسَنَةُ وَلَا السَّيِّئَةُ الْحَسَنَةُ That which is good is not equal with that which is evil. Wala tastawi. They are not equal the good and the bad. 
the good still remain good the bad still remain bad meaning there is no way you can actually cause that which is bad to be good and good to be bad no and some of us will always try to substantiate defend the bad that they did don't do it please i'm asking you and i let's not do it especially when we begin to defend ourselves in front of our children they are being influenced by that they are being influenced so wala tastawi alhasanatu wala sayyi'ah that which is good and that which is bad are not equal idfa billati hiya ahsan repel evil with good or with that which is better so if we all now agree positive and negative are not equal and therefore repel the negative with that which is good always learn to do that always not bad with bad not bad with good but good with bad always give that which is good wallahi surely the reward will come if not today the reward is coming later it will come wallahi as long as you did it sincerely your reward is coming now or later i mean now perhaps in this life later perhaps not today or perhaps when you are no more here always be good always be generous when we are generous when we are good our children one day will remember us and cry and pray for us not only our children but us other children other family members other communities will always remember our generosity always remember our good always remember don't ask for who is he where is he from before you contribute always be generous so wala tastawil hasanatu wala sayyi'a good and bad or evil are not equal infallibility here ahsan repel evil with good always do that and the reward shall come oh my god it's almost 32 minutes now and as my hotba always at iccd my iccd community has disciplined me <laughs> so now i am trying to abide by the basic principle that few words better than you know actually giving too much talk so we will inshallah stop here but again remember what we said that always learn to be generous always learn to be good wallahi you will never regret but those that are always indulging in evil they always regret and they surely will continue to regret so wherever you happen to be start at home especially now that we are all indoor with our families be generous with your wife be generous with your husband because our children are watching our children are paying attention when we are able to do it nicely believe me after all is done because surely there is hope now remember what we said wuhan where coronavirus started they are actually out now surely us in the united states and especially us in our new york state a time would come when we'll all come out but let's learn to be positive. Let's not learn bad habits 
and then by the time it is time to go out, we are already influenced or actually given bad taste. I pray, O oh Allah, continue to guide us. O oh Allah, continue to bless us. Two of the family, I know two families that have perished yesterday and uh, you know with the COVID-19. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive them. But brothers and sisters in Islam, I am hopeful. I am optimistic that inshallah we will all come back to the masjid soon. But let's continue to pray. And let's continue to abide by the basic principle that was given to us or guidelines that given to us by our doctors and our leadership. And to you all, I pray may Allah continue to protect us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless us. But don't forget to pray. And let's forget about these, all these accusations, all these negativities out there. Let's forget about that. This is a trial from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A trial from Allah. And surely ours is to say, Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Surely we are from Allah, and to Allah shall we return. Let's not forget washing of our hands. Let's not forget social distancing. And again, census 2020, let's do whatever we can to make sure that that is also taken care of. I thank and pray that may Allah continue to protect us all. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Insha'Allah, our next episode will be on Sunday uh, at 12 o'clock. Sunday, this coming Sunday at 12 o'clock will be our next episode. Barakallahu fikum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
Okay. نعم وعليكم السلام is still on oh my god help me out let me let me call uh, Nanawa please come quickly thank you very very much I actually would ask my daughter to close it. Yeah. They said the live screen is still on. Go there and stop it. Yeah, no, don't worry. Do you need help from, I think you know it, right? Thank you very much, okay? <laughs> 